Okay. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Chair. Good morning, Chair. Good morning, Chair. Today morning, I am chair. in the flower garden. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, I'm in the flower garden. <laughs> hey, your background is lovely. <laughs> Actually, you know, <clears throat> yesterday one of my students she came, she came and also she joined, you know, another her, cl her class. Yes, she is attending a TOT class. That's why she wanna use my laptop. Okay, okay, I I let it go. I let it do, and then after that, she said that the chair I change your, I will change your background. Okay, no problem. Yeah, just do it. And then <laughs> this morning, I see that oh my god, I'm in the flower garden. Ah, <laughs> <clears throat> uh, okay. So how about others? They all are very silent. Okay, I see La Ye right now, Linga. Zoo. Hello, teacher. Hello. Okay. Did I ask you something for your homework? Yes, yeah, someone. Okay, yes, thank you. And then I think some of you have already uploaded, right? You have some of you, some of you have already submitted. Am I right? Yes. Okay. And then I think yesterday I named, I made the list for the students who has already submitted. Okay, here. Oh, I see right now at uh, the students one. Yeah, we'll wait T and two T. And then next one is Andre. Okay, the race here. Show the ha yes. Who's left? I haven't uploaded yet. Mm. Uh, I forgot yes, to uh, I forgot to save them. Uh, but I will write as soon as possible. Uh, I know the answers. So Okay. I, I've already done uh doing the homework, but I forgot to save them. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> So you forgot to save them and they all disappear? Yes, I forgot to save them and I just shut down my PC. Oh my God. You know, if, uh, what, when, when, what did you do with, you mean you, you, you have done with the... Note, notepad. Ah, oh, notepad. I'm not sure for notepad. Yes. It's, it's really bad. I can send them like after finishing the class. Or... Okay, that's better. Yes, I will wait. And then next one is. Can I have something? Okay. So, um, if you do a summary like uh, for the senior ministry, you only need to use it for the adjective, right? Uh, but for the noun. If you want to use the synonyms, you know, the original for the original words, you know, the, the words in the original, if it is adjective, you better ch change to the adjective. But maybe. If you want to try with your own words, you can change the form. Sure, but how about the noun? Yeah, if you want to change noun form, it doesn't matter. Only just, it depends on the usage that you want to. Okay. Yes. Here is at the read song. Okay, and then put the hot. Yes, that's it. How about Cancel Hey? Where is Cancel Hey? Huh? 
That's all right. Are you there? Okay, so today there is no cancel, hey? Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, Andrew, where are you? Yes, teacher. Hmm. Any any reasons? Yes. <laughs> I'm, hmm. I'm not finished. Okay, you're not finished. Why yes, you don't finish? Yes. I mean, you don't understand how to write or which one make you a block to finish your homework. Um, I did. I finished the ch the channel tunnel and the bear attack. I'm still writing the early advertising. Can I submit after the class? Okay. Yes. yes. But you know, after the class, if uh, if you say after the class, you can send it to me on the. In the evening, you know, because while while we are learning right now, please uh, don't do any homework. I mean that just only you have to. You better pay attention to your work in the. You know. okay? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. So, is there any question for your summary? Because uh, maybe this evening I would read your homeworks, and after that I can give you a reflection. Okay. Yes. So, have you got any difficulty for your, how should I say, for doing your homework? I mean, that concerned with the summary, right? Everything is fine, Jay. Everything is fine. Oh, okay. Okay. If it is fine, it's really great. Yeah. Uh, for me, is uh, I, it's hard for me to understand the the words. So it's, but but I'm still trying. Yeah, okay, that's it. You know, when we do when we do reading, okay, uh you will not you will not understand every single word because you know uh, you know this uh, this one is a high level for your uh for your reading, right? So whatever it is, the main important thing is you have to read again and again till you understand. I mean that maybe for about three or four times till you understand the overview or the overview of the text is very important right and then after reading um, maybe about four or five times you will understand you will realize that what is the main point okay only just the the important thing for the summary is you have to catch the main points that's it okay mm -hmm. yeah okay so now let's start the the lessons and then, is there any other reading assignment that I give you? No, teacher. No. No, okay. Yes, thank you. So what do you want to do? Do you want to do reading or writing? Um, shall we go writing? Okay, yes, as you wish. Okay, so writing, where did you finish writing? And let me check my notebook as well. Class B. Yeah, for writing, uh, for writing is the green book, right? Yes, of course. Okay. Think you are still learning about informal writing, right? Did you finish informal writing? Where did yes, you finish? Okay, yes, that's it. So did you finish informal writing the whole chapter? I mean that tail page number 50. No. Not yet, right. So when, where did you where did you finish? 
Page 33. Okay, good job. Yeah, that's the same width on my notebook. That's why I want to make sure for that. Page number 33. Okay, so here, write a letter to a cousin you have never met before and who is coming to stay with you, telling him or her about your home and family. Is that right? Okay, yes. And then before I go to before I go to move on, okay, before I move on to page number 34, I would like to discuss with you the whole chapter because I think today's chapter is almost done. Okay. Right? Before we move on to, we would like to, I would like to discuss with you. I'm going to ask you some questions and please try to answer, right? I I think I won't call I may not call out to one of your one of you, but only just you have to answer as you as okay yourself, right? Okay, if you tell the at the same time all together, no problem. I would listen to you all. Okay. Yes. So, uh, my first question is, what is a friendly register? Okay, waiter, yes. Can you speak up? Okay, if so, if my question is a little confusing, I will change another one. How do you understand, how do you understand about the friendly register? It is informal. Okay, just only formal. Uh, Hello, please answer. Don't wait to each other. It's a letter to a friend and mm. a friend or a relative. Okay, yep, it's a letter for a friend or a friend or relatives, yes, okay. Uh, I mean that, what kind of letter it is, what kind of letter it is? Informal letter. Wait, can you speak up? I heard just only a letter. Informal letter. Yes, informal letter. Okay, yes, informal letter, but it has, you know, it has rules, you know, which one and which one. Okay, maybe for example, if you write an uh, informal letter, okay, you have to, the informal letter is a letter, uh, a letter to a letter with, you know, formal usages like that. Okay, yes, here is what is it. Okay, on page number, what's the page now? Page number three, on page number three. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, which yes. book is this? The green one. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Okay, on page number three, do you see friendly register is a level of language which comes between informal spoken language and formal written language? Okay, do you see that one? Because this is very important. If you write a, <clears throat> because a friendly register is not only informal letter, right? So a friendly register is the words, okay? Because uh, I asked this question because of when you write a friendly register, you need to choose some of the words, right? But those words should be um, should be related to informal language, informal spoken language, but the way you write should be formal written like that right so this is important for a friendly register yes and when you write a friendly register you have to you have something do and don't right especially don't is don't use slang not sms and two formal words okay that's it <clears throat> 
<clears throat> okay. So can you tell me a format of friendly register? A friendly register is writing in an informal way and we can use contractions uh, like I have um, uh, I apostrophe VE instead of I have we can use contractions like that mm -hmm. it's more like a relaxed way than formal okay. uh, way. Uh, instead of uh, and also we can use res uh, got G to get get uh, instead of receive so it sounds more informal mm -hmm. yes yeah, my, uh, now my question is a format. If you write a letter, you have to know the format, right? So which after another and uh, which one you have to write, which one you have to compose and uh, what is next like that. So format is also important. For the introduction, we should write um, apologies. Okay. Uh, that, uh, yeah, I think that's just a little uh, a little today for my question. My question is only just a format. So firstly, you need to write greeting. Second one. Introduction. Okay, introduction and third one. Um, the body. Yes, the body. Okay, the, the the transition, transition and the body for the fourth one. You have to present, you have to compose the body. And for foot, yeah, foot paragraph, you need a conclusion. And the last one is ending and signature, right? Okay, yes. You need to highlight those. Yeah, for greeting, you have to read, okay, you have to review for the greeting. So what kind of you, what, with, which one you have to include or, and next one is introduction, okay? And then, Third one is a transition. Okay, when you when you use a transition, what kind of transition you can you can do? Okay, so you have to learn it. And the next one is a signature and the ending. Yep. And you started to learn about descriptive writing. <clears throat> you know, when you when you describe about your home, your school, your teacher. And then, yeah, about your family. Okay, so when you describe all of the things, or maybe like about your teacher, your location, your school, and your, how should I say, brother, sister, your family member, right? So when you write about those, the, when you describe about them, you have to be careful is that um, you have to avoid from listing. Okay, and listing. And then another thing is you have to create the interest to the reader. Right, and next one is a personalizing. You know why you have to, why you should use, why you have to use personalizing. It's personalizing wanna show that you know about your friends very well, right? Okay, and then <clears throat> okay, sorry, and then next one is describing about your hobby. You know, is anyone? Did you call me? Uh, transition means like any using any way or any how. Uh, no, there are three kinds of transition use from transition style. No, not only, not only, you know, any weights and any how. Where is it another? What is transition? Yes. Okay, you know, page number nine, you will see that transition, there are three kinds of. <clears throat> okay, there are three kinds of style. Using the words anyway or anyhow, and then using the past tense and next one. That's. Yeah, do you see on page number nine? Uh, yes, I see you. Yeah, okay. No, not only any way, anyhow. There are three kinds, right? Okay, and then next one is uh, page number 24. Please note down page number 24. If you want to, if you want to know how to personalize, right, you can learn it detail about personalizing on page number 24 and 25. 
Okay. Yes. And then uh, one more thing you have to know is that when you describe about your teachers or your moms or your daddy or your family family member, right? You have to think about you know how to you know what is their special special what what is special what is their uh, special things maybe about the uh, for your mom is a concerned with the cooking or for your daddy is a, about concerned with his interests and his hobbies like that right only just we shouldn't say general general information like you know my father is very nice and my mom is a lovely one okay that is very general so you should avoid to use generalized so general usage okay and then next one is um, here is a conclusion of a descriptive letter yeah that's it yeah i think you have already done about descriptive letter am i right yes chair okay so now let's from let's start from advice letter okay so yeah oh, no? and I, should, I should write down your name because some of you are really forgettable and then sometimes teacher i forgot which page I, shall i have to read and then if i know if i have any notes and then i'm also confused yeah let me note it out first okay let's start okay no no no, no, 34, 34, please read 34 right now, okay? And after that, we will do discussions. And uh, Shen Dan, Shen Dan, 35. And, okay, Min Dan is okay. Min Dan, please read 36 and 37. Because 36 is only just question. There are some questions, that's why please read 36 and 37. Uh, Midan, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Too. Okay, Suzu. <clears throat> Suzu, please read 38. Yes, teacher. Right, Alinga. Alinga 39. Okay, teacher. Yes. 39. And then next one, who is it? Alinga. Laye. Laye, please read for 40 and 41 because there is also a question there. That, that's why you have to read just only a letter. <clears throat> this is Laye. And then Anthony. Yes. Yes. Page number 42. And two. Are you there? Okay, 43. And who will take? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, thank you. Page number 45. Jack. Okay. Yes. Yeah, 44. And Andre, 46. Yes. Okay. Then Andrew, 47. Then Pandaso, are you there? Yes, we Okay, page number 48. E -E King. E King, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yeah, page number 49. Yes. Yeah, King Yon San. King Yon San. King Yon San. Okay. Yes. Yeah, page number 50. You know, I want to suggest you for the. Yes, yep. Yeah. King Yon San, yep. Yeah. Okay, you have to read page number 50. 
yeah, okay. okay. I would like to suggest to the student who has to read for the sample letters, please read very carefully and then learn how other people wrote their composition, right? This is very important. We gave the time to read the sample letter. It's not killing your time. I want to, I ask you, okay, I want you to learn how other people composed, right? Chair, yes. Uh, which page do I need to read? Forty-three or forty-two? Forty-two. Okay. Yes. I would like to suggest you one thing is, you know, please read uh, very quickly. Okay, please read quickly. Don't, don't, you don't need, you don't need to read only just if you had one of these problems like that. Okay, don't read like a chai. Now, please read very, very quickly. All uh, funny letters are about someone who is the same age as us. And he or she asked for our help with his or her problem. Mm -hmm. uh, their problem is or are related to school or personal, which included uh, not very well in a subject at school, being overweight, and uh, moving to a new area, and feeling lonely, being bullied, and. Those problems can be discussed or talked uh, with a friend who will understand and take it seriously. Sometimes it is not easy to ask for help. Um, when we write a letter of advice to a friend with a problem, there are some things we should think. Uh, we have to be understanding and kind to that person's situation or uh, we can tell him or her about the problem which is the as uh, we should make our friend feel comfortable we shouldn't appear to be superiors the most important point is we must not give too much advice then we should uh, Avoid listening, listening, and we must include that personalizing, sporting idea, and avoid listening. Did you you muted? Yeah, I surely forget it. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, advice letter, right? When you write, uh, what is advice letter? If uh, advice letter is uh, the letter that you have to give advice or a suggestion to your friends, right? Your friends may have uh, some of the problems, for example, like uh, overweight, okay, being overweight, he has got some problem with being overweight, right? That's why you have to give some suggestion to your friend. Next one is your friends move on to a new school and he wish to you and then after, and then you have to give some suggestion to him or 
he, your friends was bullied by your uh, by other students in the new school. So he is going to he ask you for some suggestion, right? And then you have to give some advice for that. Yeah. So when you write the advice letter, one thing you have to be careful is that you have, don't you shouldn't show off yourself. You shouldn't boost yourself, right? And here you see that, well, you couldn't have asked a better person. Everyone knows how hopeless you are at math. Your friends is uh, your friends is weak in mathematics, right? So you so he or she asks you for advice. And you only just you said uh, the some of the hopeless words to your friend. And then you say, I'm a student like that. Okay, this is you are showing off yourself, right? So you have to avoid such kind of writing. And next one is do not give too much advice. Okay. Even though you give advice, only just you better give one or two that's it and don't give too much advice. And next one is you have to avoid listing. That's it. Okay. When you write the pass, uh, when you write advice letter, there should be three things you have to include: personalizing, support each idea, and listing. Okay, that's it. Yeah. 35. Who's 35? Shut that. Yes, sir. Um, advice letter, a basic plan, and for the introductions, it's like use a short introductions and the apology type of introduction is not appropriate here. And for the example, like I've been meaning to write for ages for a long time. So actually, that's the wrong way. Instead of using that, it was great to get your get your letter, and. Uh, and which highlight the sincerity of your friendships is using like this morning and next one is fill these sentence up um example like it was lovely to hear from you this morning but i will i'm am sorry so that's kind of like showing your feelings and the last one is now reassure your friends and the same time to conform your friendship by personalizing like the uh don't worry or try not to be worried about it. Um, that's all I'll share. <laughs> yes, now I got it. <laughs> okay. And yeah, this is uh, introduction. Your intro uh, yeah. So when you do introduction, you should start with apology type of introduction is not appropriate here, right? You shouldn't start with apology type and Next one is you have to, instead you have to use the right introduction, right? So that is, you know, they, that's why, you know, maybe like a previous time is a descriptive, right? Descriptive and advice will be a little different. So you have to note down their differences. And then next one is you have to show your feeling. Yes, now page 36 and 37, I mean that. Uh, sure. uh, by using the present perfect tense, uh, such as I've been, I've been in the same boat, and 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 the past tense, uh, so say when I was in the same boat uh, last year, or uh, when I moved here, or when I start this school, um, uh, always been in the same boat mean that uh, you have experience or you have been in the same way as he or she is feeling now before. And by using when, uh, it shows that it's like encouraging in uh, by reducing him or her um, um, murkiness, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. It's shown that you have been the same way before as him feeling right now. And, and I was lovely to hear from you this morning and that I was sorry to hear you. You worry about your school work. Don't worry. I, I know what it's like because uh, I was in the same boat. Uh, you using the same boat means that you have felt of, uh, the same way as you feel now. And mm -hmm. another example is I was great. It was great to get your letter yesterday, uh, but I'm sorry you worry about being overweight. Uh, try not to worry about it. And I know how you felt. Uh, because I have been in the same boat, um, so it's and um, so these are the use of the 
um, I was in the same boat and um, for the body of the letter and yes you should know the uh, you should know what is making him for overweighting uh mm -hmm. is it because uh, he loves chocolate or he hates uh, exercising or he is really addicted to uh, potatoes um by using a uh, personalizing phrase that to show how uh, how well you know him and and uh, to show the friendship uh, uh, between you and him like personalizing such as uh, i know or uh, how much you love um, how uh, how did you are the chocolate uh, or uh, how much you hate exercise or um what a good uh, potato you are and or uh, i know you are not exactly the world's greatest energetic persons um or sporty persons or healthiest persons and uh, and these uh, three uh, pieces of advice you sh uh, could uh, give your friends uh, um, to give up chocolate or join a sport uh, club or take up walking and uh, for the apart uh, 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 phrases uh, introduce, introduce your idea with a sentence such as uh, you could uh, you really should or you really how did how to or or what uh, why why don't you blah 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 and, and how about uh, how about uh, what about uh, have you thought of uh, buff ing plus now and and if you were uh, if I were you I would blah 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 and then I should blah 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 if I were you or uh, the best thing you uh, you can do is uh, blah 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 and and it would be a great idea if you uh, by using uh, plus uh, uh, plus tense and uh, try uh, try to do blah 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 or remember or don't uh, don't forget to do blah 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 and what uh, whatever happens that uh, try to uh, remember and uh, don't forget to blah 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 and uh, uh, try not to use the same phrase uh, more than one time and and if you have to give the uh, two or three pieces of advices or only use two or three um, um, yeah, advices please. That's it. Oh. Okay, thank you. Um, by the way, I will let you ask you a question. This is not a question. This is, uh, why, why you, why all of you, you turn all of your cameras, you know, when I see this cream and I'm alone, okay, I'm just alone with the, in the flower garden. Okay. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I was taking a leak. That's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. You know, just only I'm in the flower garden, a beautiful princesses in the garden, flower garden, and all the, you know, <laughs> all, all the other disappear and things. So. Okay, right. Don't, don't be shy to turn on your camera. Uh, you see that now we is with the very beautiful Tanaka she's wearing right now, I see. Okay. So, uh, uh, sorry if my explaining is kind of a bit not good because um in, in my mind it's like a it's it's like a Lamborghini like I'm riding a Lamborghini but when I try to speak it's like I hit a break and I don't know it's yeah. always happening like that so. yeah it's no it, it means that you know I will tell you that says why it means you are a little you you feel a little nervous about that yeah sure I'm, I'm trying to move my uh comfort zone <laughs> yeah. yes yes yeah. Uh, okay, you know, before you start to talk, you need to relax you, yourself. Wow. Alinga, Alinga is, you know, maybe I know she, she um, how should I say? She also now, she is where? In a, in a scary garden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some, some people might die in it. I don't know. <laughs> okay, Minta, yes. You know, um, I think you can practice that one before you start to talk. Just only, you know, release your feeling first, okay? And then try to be comfort. You try to be comfortable yourself, and then start to talk, right? And my body is in the heat. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> because you're nervous. That's why. Oh yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you can practice this, no problem. This is not a problem. This is, you know, the like a habit or maybe 
if you feel nervous and you you know you worry that your friends may not understand what you're talking about right at the time that feeling makes you nervous and then uh, skip some words okay, like that okay so now page number 36 it said that you know using about and okay writing about introduction when you write an introduction you can use present perfect tense okay and then next one is so sentence must end past tense you can you have to and you can use also past tense as well to give your respect to your friend and the body of the letter if you write the body of the letter you have to know you have to use the personal you have to begin by using personalizing right like i know how much you love chocolate that is how much i know how much you love chocolate is personalizing because you know about your friends very well and next one is a given phrases uh, advice phrases if you give advice you could you really ought to what or how about those sentences also very effective to reuse it again and next one is here there is a warning try not to use the same phrases more than once okay when you use the phrases only just you better use once okay don't do repetition and then next one is as you have to give two or three pieces of advice only that means you need to use only two or three for the advice phrases. Okay? Yes. That's it. Thank you. Now let's go to 38. You know, here I ask you all to read page after one. Okay, you have, and I assigned you all to read one by one. That is to, how should I say, to reduce the load to all of you, right? So while your friends is explaining or discussing please and please uh, listen to him or her and after that trying to highlight and then trying to make underlines that is you are reading the same with him or her right so this is you are and then we are trying to reduce our loads I, I mean that you know to read the books to read some pages you have to take times right that's why uh, now we are working together right so 38, who is 38? Suzu. Um, in making suggestions, the first part of advice should be introduced like the first, the best thing you can do is, or uh, the most important thing you can do is. Uh, the last part should be included such as whatever happens, whatever you do trying to remember to or don't forget to. For example, the best thing you can do is to take up walking. Um, so when you give advice to someone, be sure to keep it simple. Um, even if the topic is about health or sports, don't add any further details or, or else you will be giving a lecture. So some advice phrases for this topic are give up, cut out or cut down on. Some for sport topic are take up a sport, do some sport or do some exercise. When you combine with the starter that I mentioned and the final part, your advice would sound more natural. Okay, yes. Is there any question till now here? No, yet. No, I'm asking your friends. No, yet. Okay, thank you. So now let's move on to 39. Who has to explain 39? Alinga? Um, the language for the phrase do some exercise doesn't mean do your mathematical exercises or homework. Uh, it means stop sitting watching the TV the whole day and stop studying. Uh, just go do some movements and exercises so your body will be like a sexy fresh body. <laughs> like that. Sexy, sexy fresh. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Um, um, like uh, the first phrase, take it, man. take it easy, do it generally, uh, don't overdo it. Like, mm. you have to do some warm up exercises, whatever happens, don't forget to take it easy at first. Whatever you do, don't overdo it. You really shouldn't overdo it. If I were you, I wouldn't overdo it. Mm. Uh, try not to overdo it. Like, the phrase overdo it changes, mm. and 
Uh, and when you say something, you have to give a reason in the sentence, like a five reason, like have you thought of and add some verb and verb ing now and add a supporting sentence, uh, like for example, I know you are not the world's most energetic person, but have you thought of taking up walking? It will make you feel fitter. <clears throat> like in that sentence, um, uh, they they used. Have you thought of plus idea plus now in birth birth ing? And when the scroll phrases should be also be very simple. Like it will help you feel better. It will make you feel better. Um, it will be good for you like supporting supporting sentences always help the advice phrases and like um the starting phrases all uh, like the starting phrases are always like it will help you it will give you and it will is the main phrases for the supporting sentence okay yes thank you because you know after giving a reason you need to you, you okay after giving a reason you need to tell some support if you do like this it will happen like that right so like uh, cause cause like showing the result okay so you need some supporting for again after giving the a reason right so now 40 and 41 my yay This will help you if you find someone who are the same as your interest. Um, we need to ask questions which are relevant with our interest. And conclusion with of um, advice that I is the same with this question later. We should start our conclusion with a generalization and back to the topic in the introduction. And before writing a conclusion, trying to write about uh, personal advice. Um, and I will send it upon my student. Okay. Yeah, here it's uh, the main point here is a conclusion, right? When you write a conclusion, your conclusion should be like a descriptive letter and you should, uh, you should conclude with a generalization. And the next one is you have to avoid good luck. I hope this helps such kind of words and you have to avoid that one because those words used for like a general uh, like general informal letter right it, it doesn't show that friendly register so instead of that you have to say that and um, you have to say that joining a sport club down on junk food and another result you can tell that and then it's a descriptive letter trying to Personal like before you conclude the letter by showing your interests. But here, this one showed that you are concerned for your friends is not only while you write the letter, you want to keep informed about the situation and you also want to know if your advice has helped your friend in the anyway. Okay, like the, you can use like a personal license as well in the conclusion. Okay. Yes, and next one. 42. Anthony. Yeah, um, this is a letter of advice uh, to a friend who has been told to go on a fitness program. So uh, here he wrote, I haven't written for so long. And uh, apology introduction is not appropriate on advice letter. And instead of regain your fitness uh he could he could write more shorter and more effective for get fit and uh, and avoid repetition here for they also relax you as you need to uh you already said it helped you get fit so you need to add two or as well those kind of words Instead of saying beside you, uh, you better write near where you live or next to your house. Take care of a diet means uh, watch what you eat. Uh, I know what kind of an appetite you have 
uh, it is a good personali personalizing. So in general, uh, the letter contains no grammar or spelling mistakes. It includes uh, some good advice with support. Mm. Uh, one good example of personalizing and nice phrases, uh, which makes this a very natural letter. Mm. But uh, the introduction is not appropriate and more personalizing is needed. Okay, yes, thank you. <clears throat> and here I wanted to suggest you one thing is before you, if you have to, if you have to write a letter, you have to read the question very carefully, okay? Because if you're, uh, if you don't, uh, if your answer doesn't touch to the target and you will lose your points, right? That's why. Now on 43, yes, who wants to explain? Two. Yes. Okay. 43. So 43, yeah, 43. that I have a friend who's, who has been told to go on the fitness program. Mm. So he's like, Pia, Ravi, how are you? How is it? And how is life? And the sentence, I'm sorry, I haven't written. It's an apology sentence, and it's appropriate, inappropriate for advice letter. We should not write an apology sentence in the introduction paragraph because mm -hmm. it's inappropriate for advice writing advice letter. Mm -hmm. And also, that's for so long that I was busy in a fitness program, and that's and then it's very confusing and we don't know who is getting fit. Yeah, of course. And also another one that it was lovely. And uh, that's Anna is uh, she she could have started here, the writer could. The writer could start his well, introduction from the Senate for it was lovely, Sana. She gets your letter that's sweet and you sound really very sad because of the good diet and your new fitness program. And well, the, the word fitness program is a format which is that so we shouldn't use a, a title, we shouldn't, we shouldn't use the title word yeah, like a fitness program. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm sure that I don't I write you a letter. Uh, I'm, and the standard I write you a letter, it says uh, obvious standards. It's taking the obvious because you might like to know something about my, my fitness class, which had me back into shape and fitness. Instead of writing like that, we, uh, she could write how the class I try to me fit. Another one, the best thing you can do the best thing you can do, Sana, is and then the best you can do is to go carefully at first, and there is no need to overdo things because if you do, you may do it. The reputation, reputation, Sana, uh, over. And that's more harm than good, whatever happens. Don't ever forget the important one in the app exercise before your fitness class begin. And instead of writing your fitness class begin, you can write your, you, you start the class. And trying to stop eating fast food and you have to give up eating stuff, blah, blah. And also, and do, instead of writing well, that be loose. If you should write that do or do. I'm sorry, I have one. Yeah, of course. Um, it says that I should be really happy in a way, blah, blah, blah. And also, a lot of benefit. A lot, a lot of benefit is a Mrs. Register because a lot of it's a friendly, which is friendly. Um, benefit is a format. Well, from a letter. Yeah, from a usage. Uh, yeah, from a usage. Mm -hmm. So a lot of our benefit is uh, the missing register, and we shouldn't do that. And as I saw on the BBC, and uh, the BBC is a good standard to mention last night. And the first thing is that it will improve your body shape, will make you sleep better and feeling healthy. And 
instead of writing more over, you can start with the not only that, uh, you will have set this living a keen spirit. Uh, instead of writing that, you will have set this image, you will write, you will enjoy being with other people. Mm. Uh, as you see, blah, blah, and that's all. But on that general comment, uh, it say about this letter has a correct structure and also the student has included a selection of religion advice pieces. That the student also have for the advice, but the biggest problem with this letter is the improvement and mis misuse of, which is the, and also the lack of personalizing, make the letter sound and friendly, like a lecture. Mm. That's all. Yes. Okay, thank you. Good explanation. Is there any question until you now? No, does not let us go to 44. Jack. Yes. Uh, uh, this is also uh, the letter of advice to a friend who has been told to go on a fitness program. Uh, in, num in point number one, uh, it's one when, when I knew, uh, like you don't know something instantly. Uh, you you uh, you hear things, so it is better to change from new to here, and that is, uh, in point number two, that is an unnecessary, and put uh, in point number three, uh, put up is wrong phrase of verb. Uh, it should be put on. And in point number four, right, instead, uh, re instead of uh, reduce your weight a bit, uh, you can change it to lose a bit of weight. And in point number five, uh, you can you can replace uh, this also. It also can be done too. Uh, you can do it too. Uh, because. Uh, it explains uh, why you should, so you have to do it. And in point, uh, the point in point number six, uh, while walking is like kind of, uh, inform uh, formal in informal I guess. Uh, so, uh, while you walk would be a little formal. And in point number seven. Uh, it is a good personalization. And in point number eight, uh, he used the word swimming uh, over and over. Uh, it is kind of like a reputation. And in point number nine, uh, it is a good sentence with a good support and personal uh, with good support. And in point number 10, uh, instead of membership of a month for 10 pounds only, uh, you can change it to, uh, you can join the club for a month for only 10 pounds. So like it is kind of interesting and it shows that it is cheaper. Uh, the, uh, in point number 11, uh, you can change to the sender desk aerobic classes too. And in point number 10, uh, uh, in point number 12, uh, permits you is too formal. Uh, so you can change to some informal words like this you can. And in point number 13, uh, Instead of uh, helps in giving you flexibility, uh, you can change it to helps you make you more supple. Uh, this letter, uh, this letter has a lot of advice with good support and personalizing, uh, but uh, there are problems with register, and it is lack of uh, personalizing, and the first half of the introduction is inappropriate. So if you change them, uh, you can make the letter better. You muted.
Okay, here you know you see you will see R five, R three, R four, R two, R one, R red, R nine. You see what are those? Yes. Uh, okay. Yes. How about others? Maybe will be that. Hmm. Maybe will be that. Yeah. R is uh, explaining about R is page number one eight two. Please turn over to page number one eight two. Okay, on 182, you will see that register. Do you see that one? Okay, so here R1. What is R1? Okay, R1 is replace an abstract noun with person plus verb. Okay, and then next one is R2. R2 is replace verb ing with person plus verb. Right. Okay, and then now it's at R3. Replace uh, on page number 183, right? R3 said replace formal verbs with simple verbs and proposition or phrases. Instead of saying to distinguish, you better change to tell the differences, to tell the difference between. Instead of to consider, because to con consider is a formal word, right? So you have to change to friendly register to think about. Okay. So and I want to suggest you also, I want to suggest you also, you would, uh, you would learn, okay, you should learn about the page number, starting from page number 181, 182, right? So this is also the uh, friendly register usage, yes? Right, okay, thank you. Now for the five. Who would take? Yes, sure. Yes. So find one. Uh, by the way, from here in your letter that I think it is not good register to write as a friendly letter and it might mm -hmm. you have to take up a fitness program. And when you write a formal letter, you should not use formal letter and you should not you should avoid repetition or wording of the title. And point three, it. It's ten or it or point three, it. Instead of the same thing, or instead of it, or five three, it's the same saturation. Instead of the same saturation, you can use in the same word, five four it. Or we should not use a comment when we write the advice rate, five five. Or or God bless carbohydrate and fiber rich food, food. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, we can write register. Uh, to describe what do you mean? What do we mean? Five six. Uh, whole grain, fresh fruit, and vegetable. You should not list just like whole grain, fruit, fresh fruit, and vegetable. Point seven. Uh, you feel satisfied. Instead of you feel satisfied, you can use you feel full. Uh, point eight. Uh, sport increased mental alertness and as well as physical fitness for also had uh, psychological benefits as it makes your clever and relaxed, which may it will help you be more balanced and keep on studying if you succeed. It gives you a sense of personal achievement, self discipline and respect. Uh, part eight. Uh, this sounds like a leisure. Uh, it is full of formal register words and soaks out as store. It is copied from a book. For uh, example, for example, physiological benefits, specific personal achievement. Why not? You will be really happy when you write, when you get right of your escape bed and all your time clothes because loser. Or uh, uh, this is what your friend wants to hear, and it is friendly register. You can use, you can use you can instead of fair heavier and look heavier, you can use good. Point ten. Point ten. Or you will be happier and have one get rid of your escape plan and all your cycle because loser. You use escape plan. This is good, but it it may your friend is bad, so you should not use escape plan when you want to say. You can say the plan you think you have got on the plan that worry you so much. General comment in this letter. Only one or two spotted said that. However, this is you form a register appropriately. The letter has a list 
that is not supported advice. Uh, and the last one, this is not a notch personalizing. Okay, thank you. So we tell you improve a lot, right? Thanks for your attempt. Sure. Yes. Okay. Is there any question here? No more? Okay, so now let's move on to 46. Um, uh, so in this page 46, um, <clears throat> so in this paragraph, number one, uh, number one, I thought you'd write back. So which is uh, saying that she's replying. <clears throat> uh, and number two, uh, R3, uh, number two, R3, to try to convince you is making you realize. Uh, and then number three, uh, R4, you've got there that we still haven't got here is also that are available for you now that aren't still here. So that's me. Uh, the person he is writing to got everything they want, but they're just feeling lonely because uh, the person who is writing is not with them. In number four, good vocabulary. In writing, oh, sorry, in writing personalizing a letter, it is good to use good vocabularies. And number six, uh, I hope you haven't forgotten. So it is a good example to mix uh, personalizing and per present perfect. And then number seven, number seven is, it is a great way to express how everyone missed them. And also it is a correct way to use to instead of to. And number eight, number eight, especially Tim, Giving a name is also a form of personalizing. Uh, and then number nine, personalizing with humor is also a way to sums up that the relationship between the writer and the person who he writes, he writes to is friendly. Okay, so in general comments, the letter has a good introduction and has good personalizing words. Uh, they have some good expressions and it is easy to read and it contains several personalizing there are many grammar mistakes but there's there are no advice phrases okay actually what letter it is uh just a normal just normal writing like missing right so what the question asks the right the question asks Write a letter to a friend who has moved to a new area and is feeling lonely, right? So the writer show uh, the writer must write an advice letter. Is that correct, right? So this is also the one you have to be careful. When you write a letter, you have to think about our so do does your sorry, do your points reach to the reach to the target or not, right? So here. The last one, the last comment is a big point, right? There are no advice phrases. So if you write, say, if you, for example, if you write like that, and then you will lose most of your marks, right? I have already explained you, there are two sessions for given points. The first one is uh, like, you know, how much you answer, how much you answer to the question. And the second one is language, uh, language style and language structure. Right. So this is very careful. You, this is very important to be careful. And right now, I think that some of you are very cool and very silent. Even Zuzu, and then she turned off the camera again. I think my, she might she might recite the Chinese poem like that. Zuzu, right? Are you reciting the Chinese poem like that? Especially you are sleepy. You are sleepy, and that are you are you reciting the Chinese song, poem? No, I'm not sleepy. Are <laughs> you not sleepy? Why you turn off the camera? To do to reduce you know the data. Uh, are you using with the mobile data? No, teacher. Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. So why you turn it off? So, do you do you think that we all are we all are bored to see your 
cute face. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Yes. So what I want you to do right now before I keep on to page number 47. Okay, let's do something to change your mind because I think you seemed feeling a little bored about something. I'm not sure that. Okay. Yep. Have you ever used your left hand to write a letter? Okay, is there, uh, is, there one, is there anyone who is left-handed? Me, Chair. Oh, okay. Yeah. You are left-handed. Okay. How about others? No, Chair. I only use my left hand to write, wipe my butt. Yeah. Okay. Yes, thank you. So, Andrew, you mean that you can use both? No, Chair. You're left-handed. I'm right-handed, sure. <laughs> okay. Yes. How about others? No more. Okay. So, uh, Jack, are you left-handed one? No, no, no. I, I'm right-handed. Uh, okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, here only just we here is a, a one special person that says Shin Tan. He is a left-handed person. So, okay. My question is that Shin Tan, have you ever got any problem while you were attending the school because you are left-handed and your most of your friends are right-handed? Have you got any problem? No, Chair. I'm actually fine with that. Oh, okay. Yes, I think you know. I mean, maybe you you met with a very comfortable friends, a very flexible friends, right? They and they understood. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So. Now let's do free writing by using with the hand you have never used. I mean that you have never used to mean that don't use the with, if you are left handed, don't use your left hand. You have to use your right hand. Okay, should that you have to write the sun. Okay, you have to do free writing with your right hand. Okay. Yes, free writing. The, okay, what is free writing? Free writing means that, you know, you write down some sentences without thinking any grammar, without thinking any anything else. Just only write down what are in your mind. Okay. Yes, you don't need to do. You don't need to think about grammar, the structure, anything else. Just only write down what your mind want to say. Okay, please do. Yeah. Uh, I I don't know why, but I, I know the difference between a left and right, but sometimes yeah, all of a sudden it I, I just forgot uh, what is left and what is right. <laughs> it just uh, mostly it's having uh, when I'm confused about something. It's, I just forgot it. Mm, okay. So I mean that uh what which hand you usually use to write yeah, yes, you yeah. uh, are. When you uh, ask that question, that like, I have to uh, think for uh, three or five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you'll be used to it, no problem. <laughs> okay, so now let's start it right. I was at two minutes, okay? I'll give you two minutes. Within two minutes, let's see how many sentences can you write with your unusual hand. You have to use with your left hand. If you're right handed, Right with your left hand. Okay, start. No, no. Do you understand what I mean? Yes, yeah, sure. chair. Okay, now start. Because I have already given the time. You are. You have got two minutes. Be sincere, okay? Try to use your unusual hand. Alinga? Well, teacher, do you want me to open my camera? No, 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 no. If you stay there, and it's fine. I'm stay here. Okay. I'm stay here. <laughs> Let's do it quickly. Teacher, can I write anything? Yes, you can write anything. Uh, literally anything. 
Yes, literally anything. <laughs> okay. Share my handwriting to the alpha to send a dead, uh, dead letter or something. It's, <laughs> it's kind of scary. <laughs> Whatever, it is no problem. It can, can you understand? Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, thank you. And are you still writing? Yes. Let's see how your hands ready is very beautiful. I'll try it. Chat is my turn. No, no, Iki, your tennis, your tennis not yet. Yeah, no, you know, to change your friend's mind because your friends look a little sleepy and bored. That's why they are writing something in their minds with their you unusual hand. Okay, time is up. Are you in the mood right now? Okay, Shinda. Yeah. Can you, can we see, no, can you see, can we see your handwriting? Can you make it closer and then show it? That's true. Yes. <laughs> you know, you guys don't want to see it. It is really <laughs> dusty. Whatever you say. Let's see how beautiful it is. What? Okay. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> preschool children. Preschool. Uh, preschool child. Can I get in sense right in? <laughs> okay. Yeah. No. 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 How about you? Ah, okay, so the noise, uh, the noise is still writing and Pyotia. Let's see your one. Uh, we cannot see it. Yeah, I cannot see it. I'll send it in Fiverr. Okay, yes, thank you. Please send in Fiverr. And then Minta. Yeah, I'm almost done. Oh. Yeah, almost. Almost done. Okay, okay, okay. Keep on, keep on. Yes. Andrew. <laughs> I think I invented a new language. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and then Andre, how about you? Uh, I will send in the Bible. 
Okay, yes. So can you all send in the Vibers group? Okay, take a photo and then please send it. Uh, please send it on the Vibers group. Not privacy, okay? In the group. We would see, uh, we would, uh, we would have fans. Uh, okay, here, Pyoti Ha. My name is <laughs> Pyoti Ha. <laughs> I like playing games. <laughs> okay, now is Alinga Swen. Uh huh. huh. Alinga said that. <laughs> Alinga's handwriting is like a, uh, how should I say, a, a new language from another. Yeah, you're pretty. <laughs> oh, this is a bug. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, the walls is round, the ice melts. Okay, lime is sour. Oh my god, Jack, you are telling the truth. Okay, lime is sour. We cannot miss it. <laughs> this is <a> great. <laughs> okay, I'm not sleepy. Yes, thank you so much for your opening mind. Uh, okay, hand to one. Apple, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see and let's read your friend's work. Yeah, and two wrote that apple, banana, orange, <laughs> Jupiter, mm, Jupiter, and what? Uh, moon. Okay, and here is the Kenyan Santa. Oh my god, very lovely one. My name is Kenyan Santa. <laughs> As much as we can with the universe ahead. Oh, look, my bad writing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Teresa, I'm hungry. I wanted to play Batman at all. Oh, yes, no, no. You are telling the truth or just only for a sentence you made. Oh, here you see that we will take hands writing is better than others. I love my parents because they are kind and they give me whatever I want. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, English handwriting is most beautiful in all of it. Really? Yeah, you know, English okay. is talented. He's very good at writing. So okay, okay, let's, let's see, let's see. Yeah, let's yeah. see. Let's see Andrew's, Andrew's one, Andrew's notes. And we also speak fat. <laughs> I don't like math. Math gives me depression. Agree. No, so your math stress the hell out of me. Can't say math. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Andrew Wines is the best one I think I usually write. What is it? Okay, let's let's give a heart uh heart a love read. Which one was which one is the the fun, the funniest one? I don't like maths. Maths give me depression. I have never cried over over only subject. Bad but I can't like physics too. Where do you ever use it? I know what it is so why leave <laughs> Okay, it is I um I know what one plus one is, so why even learn more about math? Yes. But but mm. what is it? Sorry, Elinga, what did you say? It but she spoke fat, you know. Oh fat. Oh okay, okay, thank you. <laughs> I need a translator as well. Okay, here you can dance one. My brother told me I can do what is it? I can do whatever I want with my life. Okay. <laughs> All of you to remember. Oh my God, with that you are stay young. Okay, when I decided, when I die, all of you to remarkable for the life I live. Not the what? Not the money. Uh, um, it's a phrase from my favorite song. That's why I think. Okay. Yes. Mm. Okay, yes, and uh, next one is uh, King, uh, E. E. King's, E. E. King is a, uh, what, what is it? King Day, what is it? King Day, King Day Wong. King Day Yong. Yeah, well, who is King Day Yong? 
is a member of BTS? Oh, Iki, I am asking about the things, what is happening in your mind. That's why you are, I think you are thinking about Kim tae -yong. You are thinking about Kim tae -yong and you are not paying attention to my lesson, I think. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Okay, yeah, like it, like it when no class on 17 and 18. He <laughs> he, what is it? Okay, <laughs> like it, have you got the uh, the letter or maybe that notice from the school? I'm not sure. Now you need to make sure to your teacher. Ah, uh, yes, I think that I miss my mom. I want to be with her. She's the most sick of powerful woman for me. Oh, dear, this is also very beautiful. You know, then look at Lindana's uh, handwriting. You know, this is like, I have so many goals that I want to achieve. Yes. Thank you so much to, you know, to open your, because you have opened your mind, right? Okay, so now can I keep on to page number 40? So, oh, let's see. How many love? Who has got the most reacts? I ask you to give the most react. Okay, love react to your friend's work. Who has got the most? Please look at it. Okay, which one is the funniest one for you? Please give love Ria to the funniest one, okay? I mean the funniest one, I mean the handwritings. Okay, let's see. Who has got the <laughs> the love the most love reads? Yeah, I think Alinga, right? <laughs> they really voted me for because my handwriting is funny. Well, <laughs> I think often. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, whatever it is, we we give applause to your top. <clears throat> okay. Oh my God, now it's coming the natracane juice. Okay, so now let's move on to page number 47. Who's 10? Uh, Andrew is 10, right? Andrew is 10, so... No, sir. Sure. Yes, mine, Andrew. Mine yeah. Yes, you're, you're 10. <sighs> 47. Um, write a letter to a friend who has moved to a new area and is feeling lonely. So, uh, one, confused because uh, instead of using I, I really miss you so much, you can use uh, I really miss you or I miss you very much. And two is uh, a new area. Uh, avoid uh, repetition of word, wording of title. It is formal register. Uh, three is cheer you up. It's Good, good phrase. Uh, for in my option, instead of using in my option, you can use I think because it's formal. And five, uh, make a party. Uh, no one say make a party. <laughs> instead of using make a party, uh, you should say have a party or throw a party. Uh, and another uh, number six is all the boys and girls in your area of your age. Instead of using that, you can say everyone your age who lives there. Um, number seven is you will meet uh, instead of using uh, you will meet you can use your meet because you're writing to a friend and you can use uh, in, 
friendly uh, words that you will meet. So number eight is come over and see me. It's a good point because per person I first personal personal personalization. Yeah. Per personal she show you personalization. personalization show you want to continue the friendship even though your friend has moved okay general comments this data has contained some good idea for your advice however there is not much personalization personalization there is no conclusion the institution is the first thing the examiner reads and this one gives a bad impression ah uh, okay thank you sorry andrew i was wrong yeah, uh, you have to pronounce personalizing because as I am. Personal. Okay. Um, so there is no, there is not much personalizing and no conclusion, right? Okay, this is also a good sample one, even though it comments is very scary. You know, the comments is, the comment said that a bad impression, right? Even though the comments is very scary, this is the thing you need to learn, okay? You have to avoid to make the same mistake with kids, right? Okay, now let's move on to 48. Then then uh so yes teacher. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> question three write a letter to a friend who is going for an interview and needs advice. Uh, the comment number one is to calm you down and it is using a nice thought personality. And the point two is, as seen in the same book last year, is uh, incorrect grammar. Uh, present perfect tense, I have seen, can, cannot be used with a uh, definitive time last year. And the correct way to use is, I was in the same boat last year. For the point three is, um, Applying at instead of using applying at uh, is using a wrong position, uh, preposition. So the, the right way is applying to. Point number four is uh, repetition from introduction. Try not to repeat from the introduction. And the point five is go to sleep early instead of go to uh, using go to sleep early, you can use have an early night or go to bed early. And the best tip is good vocabulary. And point number seven is uh, repeat uh, repeat of yourself, uh, collect and organize are in the wrong with register. The correct way to use is and try to organize yourself and to collect yourself. Point number eight. Uh, point number eight. R two. R two is uh, instead of using why answering, uh, it is better to use when you answer. Point number nine. R one. Uh, instead of using a misjudgment, uh, uh, you need to use the wrong idea. The point number 10 is register. Instead of using I was told so, uh, you need to use that's what I was told. Point number 11 is R3. R3, instead of using gain control over, you can also use uh, do something about or uh, blah, 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 or uh, stop. Point number 12 is, um, uh, instead of using you don't feel it wrong, uh, you can use you don't see anything wrong with it. Point, uh, the last point is, uh, instead of using for some time, it's better used for a while. For general comments, uh, this letter has a good introduction and most ideas are supported. However, there are too many pieces of advice uh, there are not many examples of personalizing, and it contains too much formal register, and there is no conclusion. And the students have repeated the advice trade, try, 
other advice quizzes should have been included. For example, and check out, uh, give it a try, give it a go, or um, put on trial. That's all you can. Okay, thank you. And here you see the formal, formal register, right? It contains too much formal register. Uh, how many formal registration do you see here? Okay. Yes. Five or six. Five or six. Yeah. Can you say that? Can you point out what are those? Number uh, number number two. Number two. Number. Two. Number three. Three, yes. Mm, number number four. Four. Mm -hmm. uh, actually they are they here it mentioned that incorrect grammar, wrong proposition, repetition. Uh one is point out is that page uh sorry, number seven. Okay, collect and organize uh, in the round register. So it means that collect and organize, you know, we have to use collect and organize in the formal letter, right? So here we, we cannot use coll uh, collect and organize in, the, in this letter, in, in this kind of letter. Now 49. It can. We need to give good advice and encourage so that he or she will be more comfortable about interview. Um, the thing you should be careful is not to start a sentence with an. You should use some proper words such as at the same time, don't overrealize. The word whatever refers not to rush into doing anything. Mm -hmm. Like whatever you don't rush through and to concentrate deeply on her jobs. If you slow down, you could not only focus carefully on what you were doing, but also it was very easy to keep your mind stable. You should not discuss about too many things you don't need. Then it's better to summarize all of the fact you want to tell so that can save you from hesitant situations. And part of the look describing what you will is also an important action because your impression is significantly can change your look. Optimizing is great. You should tell her like I'm sure you'll be fine. I'm sure everything goes well. That's it to share. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um by the way, what what did you do that? Uh, yeah. So did you did you how should I say did you rewrite uh, the sentences that did you what what was your explanation about that? Uh, I read carefully the paragraph and note down note down the points I need to tell and the comments and, and the given comments like one two three <coughs> four five six seven, ten and 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 at at yes in each in each point uh, i use i use too many words and to describe it more carefully mm. okay thank you Yeah. Okay. So I would like to edit some more about some more on page number forty nine, right? 
So you can see a uh, personal license. I know how well you speak. And then next thing is number four. Okay, number five. There is also another personal license, right? And um, yeah, I know that rest through habit of yours. That is showing the personal license. Okay, so here yeah, general comments. It has a good introduction. Okay, if you see it has a good introduction, you better read it and you can you should learn how other people write a good introduction. And it has plenty of personalizing and support. There are some good phrases and then you can see a broad range of uh, vocabulary. Okay, so and then here the, the length of a letter is also, you know, neither too uh, neither short or long one, right? So this is also a good letter. Yes, now let's go to the last one, page number 50. Who is it? Can you understand? Yeah. Mm. Um, it is also a letter to a friend who makes advice on how to study. Um, point number one, I've been meaning to write to you for HS. It's um, a public introduction for an advice letter. And the point number two, I thought I would drop you a line. Um, this sentiment, this sentiment, this sentiment, this is a decision made by the writer. If someone asks you a question and you are obligated to answer, you do you you do not decide to. Mm -hmm. Hello? Hello? Yes, are you there? Hello? Hello? Yes, yeah, we, yeah. Didn't, we didn't hear anything. Um, I'm sorry. Um, point number three, now that you have mentioned them in your, in your previous Letter. Um, okay, I think she has got some problem with the connection. Can you say, are you okay? Oh. oh, I'm sorry. Uh, now she's left. Okay, so who has read page number 15? Who read page number 15? I mean, you know, if you are done earlier, please read page number blah, blah, blah to 15. Okay, I suggest that you to read it. Is anyone who read? Hello. Okay. So I better I better ask Jack. Mr. Jack. Hello Jack, Mr. Jack. Oh my God. Oh, okay. So, Suzu. Yeah. Sure, I haven't read it all yet. Okay, so can, uh, I just want to know is that, can you explain? 
Can you discuss? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's try. Point is that um, he has written an inappropriate introduction uh, because he said um, he's been meaning to write to uh, to someone for ages because it's not inappropriate because it's an address letter, so we don't need that. And point number two is it is a decision made by the writer, so. If his friend uh, write to him and he has the duty to write back, so he should not include like, I will drop you a line because uh, he has the duty to write back. So we don't need that. And point number three is um, he uses like, now that you have mentioned them in your previous letter. So it sounds a little more formal. So, and the structure is poor style. And point number four is, instead of, in my opinion, we should write, I think. And point number five is listing, uh, because he wrote first. Um, point number six is, he doesn't include any support. He just wrote, he just uh, told that his friend should find a quiet and well-lit room. He doesn't include any reasons. On um, point number seven is, um, instead of uh, is your ability to set up a schedule, uh, we should write uh, like a make a tidable if you can, because um, we should rewrite in person plus verb instead of like. Um, noun and verb so point number eight is uh, the spellings spelling mistake and point number nine is um it sounds more too formal because he uses like allocate them but we should write in a more casual way so we should write in like fit them fit them in so it sounds more formal because it's a phrase of all and point number 10 is mm, try to give yourself some free time too. Instead of uh, the time to be should also include certain hours of freedom. Um, I think instead of using the timetable, like the object and verb, we should write with um, pronoun subjects and verb. Um, point number 11 is it's a register mistake. So um, instead of using reduce your burdens, we should use um, help you with less. I, yes, it's a register mistake because reduce is sounds it do sounds more formal than I like, help you realize. And point number 12 is, um, he has used uh, during your study hours. So we should uh, convert it into, we should convert it in, we should convert into subject and verb. So while you work, and point number 13 is an inappropriate register because um, he has used like this in yeah, understanding the information thoroughly. So it is um, informal, it is a formal way. So uh, that sounds, uh, that the word that sounds so formal, so we should, we write it in like so you completely understand everything. And point number 14 is use an advice phrase uh, because he has used like another helpful advice and it sounds listing uh, to us. So we should correct in 
another way and point number 15 is use short form we should use contractions because we are writing to a friend and point number 16 is uh, point number 16 is uh, rather than use the night of we should use the night before it's um he described is in a wrong way and point number 17 is inappropriate register um he used since instead of because it's a big mistake because since sounds too formal and point number 18 is an inappropriate register because uh he's he has stated that we can just say that oh we we usually uh say the sentence in like studies and research so we shouldn't include that sentence and point number 19 is an inappropriate inappropriate register um because he has used like if you are able to so we should convert into if you can and um, point number 20 is a spelling mistake so in uh, for general comments the the letter has an appropriate conclusion but um there there is too much advice and he hasn't included any personalizing sentences at all um he contains like too much formal register so he should write in a more casual and relaxed way and also the letter does not seem fluent it sounds like really scientific and um too formal yeah and then it looks like an artificial yes okay so i want to give you homework uh what is it what's it yeah question number four the last one on page number 50 write a letter to a friend who needs advice on how to study okay please write a letter and then submit it to me okay can you repeat page number one yeah, let me make sure that today is today's what today is 15 right homework Allison page Question. Okay, can you see it? Okay. So, uh, is there any question till now? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. So you better. Okay, I would tell you you better re review okay the whole pages that we discussed today and you can ask me if there is something you don't understand okay you can ask me tomorrow if there is something you don't understand or if there's if there's something confusing for you okay right yes yes Okay, bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you, Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, thank you too.